Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shukri Hachi Ismail and I'm the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Well, first of all, I would like to thank so much to the International Conservation Caucus Foundation for hosting this event, which is really a very important event. And thank you all for being a part of this holistic visit of the United States by our President Musa Bihi Abdi. It's a privilege today to meet with the ICCF, your board members and donors about Somaliland's progress and the opportunities for greater partnership between, U between the U.S. and the Somaliland that lie ahead. Let me briefly touch on the history of Somaliland because learning about our past is essential to understanding our aspiration for aspirations for the future. Somaliland lies in the Horn of Africa, on the southern coast of the Gulf of Aden. It is bordered by Djibouti to the northwest, Ethiopia to the southwest, and Somalia to the east. It has an area of 176,120 square kilometers, with approximately 5 million people. Somaliland gained its freedom from Great Britain in 1960, and soon afterwards formed a union with the former Italian Somalia. But after 30 years of strife, we reclaimed our sovereign sta status in 1991. Since then, we have built a democratic system of government, advanced econo economic growth, and ensured the security of our people. Despite lacking recognition as a sovereign nation, our location in a, in a difficult neighborhood. Our location is in a difficult neighborhood. It has been nearly 10 years since the delegation from this, of this nature visited the United States. Since that time, the geopolitical environment in the Horn of Africa has evolved considerably, bringing Somaliland's interests and U.S. interests further and further into alignment. One of these areas of alignment is a shared recognition of this importance of conservation and environmental protection. Somaliland's unique, Somaliland's climate and unique challenges. Somaliland is blessed with a diverse ecosystem, home to many species of wildlife and vegetation, large mountain ranges, and more than 850 kilometers of coastland with pristine beaches. Bridge, coral reef, and rich marine life. Unfortunately, Somaliland faces serious, serious environmental and conservation challenges. We are on, on the front line of a climate change, and climate change is real, real in Somaliland. The overall climate of Somaliland is monsoonal, with the majority of rains coming from the southwest monsoon. We are suffering from, from a prolonged drought that over the past few years have killed over 70% of the area's livestock, a major export and critical sector for the country's economy. Today, as I'm talking to you, 810,000 people are in need of urgent assistance. We are coping with a serious water shortage, malnutrition, and food insecurity, which has also fueled internal migration. Despite facing a number of challenges, including limited government resources, lack of direct aid, decentralization of environmental governance, and donor funding, or donor funds, allocated mainly, allocated mainly to social programs, we are under undeterred. We are undeterred of our fight against climate change, which is led by our ministry. What's, what Somaliland is doing? What is our government literally doing? Somaliland Minister of Environment and Climate Change was established in 1997 to protect the environment, promote climate change resilience, and ensure sustainable livelihoods for our people. The ministry has developed a five-year strategic plan as a blueprint for action in consultation with the various stakeholders, including sister minister, sister government ministers, universities, UN agencies, INGOs, local NGOs, and others, which I would welcome the opportunity to discuss with you today. 
already we have accomplished many of the goals of our plan, which, al which is aligned with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And we have developed regulations and strategies for environmental protection and conservation, raised awareness and organized training workshops on the natural resource management for rural communities, conducted an impact assessment on energy resources and an alternative in Somalia, established 13 nurseries for reforestation in rural areas, which has ho helped to green major towns and reduce charcoal production from live trees. Established seasonal grazing reserves and soil and water conservation techniques, safeguarded by a diversity of protected areas, including mangrove conservation program and research on Frankenstein's protection, and developing environmental education program through radio and TV programs. Somalia is also playing a crucial role to fight to curb cheetah smuggling in the Horn of Africa, which is a major transit route for wildlife traffickers seeking to access market on the Arabian Peninsula. When we began this week, this work, cheetah population in the region were, were dwindling. In the past several years, Somalia has worked closely with the international wildlife organizations including the Cheetah Conservation Fund and other international partners to save and rehabilitate these precious animals. The cheetah sanctuaries and wildlife refuge created through our partnership with CCF have played a significant role in rebuilding cheetah population in our country. So Maryland also worked to ensure that traffickers do not exploit our territory for their criminal activities. This is a comprehensive undertaking to apprehend traffickers and confiscate smuggling, smuggling cheaters and involve the Somaliland police, our coast guards, our Minister of Environment, Climate Change, and our court system. Starting with the region's first cheater smuggling conviction in, in 2018, law enforcement officials from Somaliland ha have enhanced anti poaching methods to protect wildlife. And vigorous and vigorous prosecutions following arrests have ensured that smugglers, uh, smugglers are held accountable. Conclusion: the, challenge I have, the challenges I have discussed are just some of the many areas where I believe the opportunity exists, exists to expand and forge new partnership. This is why our delegation is here in Washington this week to meet with allies like all of you and leaders in the Biden administration, Congress and civil society. We seek a strong and enduring partnership with the United States. There is so much that we can accomplish together, from reforestation to water harvesting and dams construction for drought mitigation and to support, and support the past releases and improved health service for livestock to rangeland resource rehabilitation and the restoration of previous grazing, grazing reserves to the promotion of alternative energy resources. So I look forward to discussing how together we can advance these shared priorities. I would, like, I would also like to invite all of you to visit Somalia to see firsthand the many opportunities we can unlock with your support. Thank you again to ICCF for hosting this luncheon and to your board and donors for all that you do to support conservation and protect wildlife around the world. Thank you so much.